Right, what do we see? Um... Don't, I don't think, Ethan. Give me the first idea that pops into your head. Uh, okay. Um... Butterfly. butterfly. I didn't think it looked like it, but whatever. Uh, wolf, actually. A wolf's head. Uh, a crab. Yeah, a crab. I saw a crab. Goat? Death. Death. I have the results of your MRI scans. Everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. It's my fault Jason is dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. It was an accident. Accidents happen every day. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. What's that? How is Sean? Uh... He's a distant. very solitary kid, you know, very focused within himself. He's really close to his mother. With me, he's more distant. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? Oh, well, let me sit down for this. I feel... I... Depressed. no longer want to live. I have no reason to continue. Not even for your son, Sean. I couldn't save Jason. Sean doesn't need a father like me. Okay, no, let's change that. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? I think I have schizophrenia. Have there been any cases of split personality developing after a concussion? Like people doing things but having no memory of what they've done. Like somebody else had been doing them. We know that in certain cases, a violent shock to the brain can cause serious psychological disturbances, like schizophrenia, for example. That's the end of this session. Uh, we'll continue this conversation next week. You were lucky, Ethan. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor. Um, do you want to play, Sean? Aren't it's you going right. to go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. Okay, buddy. How was school? How did things go at school today? I was punished because I didn't do my homework. Oh, no. We should have done it. I'm sorry about that, Sean. Next time, we'll really pull it together, okay? Come on, buddy. I, I wanted to make sure, you know, you was alright, but... Is something the matter, Sean? I don't want to make you do your homework. No, I'm alright. You hungry? We can go do grab a burger something? or something. Come on, let's go somewhere. If you don't want to go here... Let's go somewhere. A boomerang? You know how to use it? No, not really. I can never make it come back. Can I give it a try? Oh god, this is gonna go terribly wrong. Oh, 
Uh oh. Oh my god. I don't. I, boomerangs are magic. I don't understand how they work. Oh Whoa, yeah. You did it, Dad. Do you want to give it a try? I won't be able to do it. Oh, come no, on, you could do it. Together. Now, the main thing is to get the right position at the beginning. Now, you got to throw it straight and a little to the right. That's it, Sean. Go on. Nah. Just your legs. Throw it. Yes! I did it! I did Not it! A boy. Dad. Good job, Sean. See? That wasn't so hard. You've just gotta try things. Hungry now? Wanna go play with the other kids? Anything else you want to do? I'll find something else to do with him. Okay, seesaw. I haven't been on a seesaw in a long time. What do you think? Yeah. Let's see how this works. Come on, Dad, make me fly. I feel like if it if I did it straight away. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, he's laughing. This is good. How about the roundabout? What about that merry-go-round? I bet I can push you so fast you won't be able to stay on it. Great! Come on then. Hop on. Here we go. As fast as you can. As fast as I can. Faster. Trying. I'm trying. <laughs> Go back here. <laughs> Whoa. I think my head is spinning. <laughs> Good training for astronauts, though. <laughs> no, let's not leave. You, you hungry? Is this is this food? Candies. I'd like a packet of strawberry flavored chewies, please. Thanks. Hey, I got you some chewies. I hate strawberry. Really? Thanks. It was nice of you anyway. Why would you say that to me? Right, Sean, come over here. Can you not go on this? Hmm, okay. Yeah, I'm awake, kid. On. Oh, he's there. Okay, good. All right. Well, I guess we'll leave then. Well, we'll ask him about strawberry. Should have known he doesn't like strawberry. Don't even know my own son anymore. 
It's getting dark. It might start to rain soon. Oh, to be fair, yeah, it might. Maybe you'd like to have a turn on the swings. Yeah, hang on a minute. Where, where are the swings? What a slide. I want to have a go on the swings. Oh, there they are. You want to go play on the swing? I'll push you. Okay. Just a bit of last activity and we'll go home. Oh, what? And release. Oh, thank God that's what it meant. What? No. You're not pushing Dad. No, I will. Just, I don't know what that, that wanted me to play do. What? I pressed down! You've got a really jolt look. I'm sorry, I'll keep going. You've got a proper jolt the controller. Come on, Dad! Higher! <laughs> My whole body moves when I'm trying to jolt the controller. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's enough now. <laughs> that was cool. Damn right it was. Best time of your life on the swings. Looks like rain's coming. I think we better go. Okay. So, we've done a lot of activities. Grab your bag. You know, sometimes I remember before, I mean, when Jason was still here, sometimes I wish everything could just be the way it was before. Me too, Sean. Me too. Which way's out? Where's the way out? Oh, over here. Come on, Sean. Hey, Dad, can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? Sure. Go so pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. One, please. That's a dollar. Right, where is he? Oh boy. What the hell? You can't just throw that at me. Stop! 
Wait, so... Is this actually happening right now? Might be upstairs. Sean! Sean! Do you think it's gonna take long? No, he should be finished soon. Come on, I've been waiting for hours, lady. There's a tank and a ball. What? Uh, what? You could actually make holographic. No way that's, that can work. What, what are people going to think when they're looking at me right now? <clears throat> Look at him. He's so confused. Let's put him away. He's looking at us weird. That is so cool. Oh, we're like a child, and we're in the FBI, man. Just fidgeting. Alright, let's get him back out then. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Jaden, of course. We've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no. Now it's fine. I just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Oh look, classic me, cop, there's a donut there. Finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get them well together. Do you know how to tie a knot in a necktie? I guess. All right, let's do it. To be frank it. with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press... They're all over us. This origami killer case 
crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. There are hundreds of killers in this country, but what do you know? This guy is exotic. He leaves flowers and origami figures. Work that one out. Then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it, it's none of my business. No, of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress, and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all, I know, because I'm, um, I'm amazing. Oh, go You'll never see have Charlie one better. She'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the club, Jaden. Hey, can we have a look around anyway? All of these cops look exactly the same. Most of them, anyway. I'm ready to start. Maybe we should kick off by talking about the case? I have some work to finish here. Let's talk about oh, that later on, if you don't mind. Okay. Uh, no problem. Just let me know when you're available. Alright, Kathy, Susan, what's your name? Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Sure. Congratulate Larry on my behalf. I'll be sure to do that, sir. It's a scam, isn't it? Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. My, my my money better go to good use, you know. What is this shit show? This? This is my office? That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. This is a bit of shit, isn't it? I'm basically in my own jail cell. Okay, time to work. Okay, let's have a seat. Let's have a look at our files. Oh, never mind, we'll just chuck it all off. Yeah, we're gonna use our glasses. Oh. Do we not need the table? All right. Oh, no, 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 I didn't want to get up. Or maybe I did. No, I definitely didn't. I forget, that's, that's what I do to get my glasses out. Step one. Change the office. Oh my god, what are we doing? Wait. Oh my god. Yes, I want space. That's space, right? Oh my god, we're on Mars. Oh, what is this? Um. 
What's this one? Oh my god, that's so sick. I mean, I don't think I'll choose this one, but that is sick. This one? That is awesome. This one's quite shit. Let's try this one. Oh my god! <laughs> I could just be underwater whilst a shark goes by. I'm gonna have to go with space though. No, I'm going with this one. It looks so good. Just out in the middle of nowhere on like Mars or some shit like that. Um. Environment. Oh, no way. Orchid, origami figure, analyze, composition, cellular, no sempon. prints or specific clues, hmm, nothing much to go on. Hmm, a common species. That doesn't help much. The orchid is a common species. It can be found at any flower shop. Okay. Well, let's go back to the... Um, that one, and let's do a geoanalysis on this one. Just one origami store in town. God damn it. This way. The killer's car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. Do a geoanalysis on that? No data. Of course there wouldn't be. Um, okay, clear all. Get out of my face. Map. No data, just have the origami store. So that's one good thing we found. Origami killer victims. Uh, yeah, open that. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys. Age between 9 and 13. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Bodies are found three to five days later. Drowned. In rainwater. I know who the killer is. There's no way it can't be. It's Ethan. It's Ethan. I don't know if that's what they want me to think. But for now, I am so sure that that it is. Think about it. All boys Always the same ritual. get drowned. An origami in the hand. And Ethan has schizophrenia. The the victims have and he's been, been losing time. Six hours when they were found. Which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Several days before being drowned. Over 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. It, it's Ethan. I, I don't know if that's what the game wants me to believe, you know, but it just seems so likely. Maybe I can do a geoanalysis on the victims. 
Yes. Okay. The killer has a large comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Hmm, this won't make the geo profiling any easier. Okay, clear all. We can look at clues. Oh no, we've already looked at Never mind, never mind, get rid of that. Now if we look at our map, we've got a nice... We've got the origami store and we've got... Like a... a uh, what's it called? A good area of comfort to find the killer. Here we go again. I better go wash my face. I need to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. You know why? Because you're right. using those glasses all the time, mate. I can make it. I know. I know I can make it. Do it. I haven't got a body. Oh, I do. I don't know if I should have taken that or not, but I've done it. Oh my god, it's Ethan. We actually have lost Sean. This is Lieutenant Are you serious? Blake, We've Mark. lost Sean. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while. And then he wanted to go on the carousel. So I put him on one of the wooden horses. And when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. It must have been about... It was, um... It was... 4.45. 4.45. It was 4.55 when really we looked. Sure. When, when we, we were sitting wearing? down. He disappeared. He was wearing a coat. Uh, it was beige. A beige coat. And a pair of pants. Uh, which were... Beige brown? Br How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? I can't remember. Stay on bench, little walk. I, I did. I... I didn't leave. I watched the carousel. How could Sean and possibly be vanished if you were right there watching the carousel? I don't know. I, I don't understand. You say you took your son to the park after school. But you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? Searched, waited, panic. Searched. I searched the whole neighborhood for him. I, I thought he couldn't have gone far. All right, that's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do, do you think the origami killer... Listen, your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. But what if it is the origami killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. 